Greetings, Southside. Yesterday I preached from 1 Corinthians chapter 8, which is a part of a three-chapter section on idolatry. And Paul is writing 1 Corinthians chapter 8 to the Corinthian church because there's some disagreement on where the line is where someone is participating in idolatry and where someone is not. And the particular issue that they're wrestling with is the issue of eating food sacrificed to an idol. And there are some in the church who think that that's okay, and I called them the knowledgeable ones. And then there were some who thought that it wasn't okay, and I called them the weak ones. And the fascinating thing about 1 Corinthians chapter 8 is the way Paul handles this discussion. He doesn't bring more knowledge to the situation. Instead, he calls them to offer more love. And that if there's a behavior that someone is doing that negatively influences their brother or sister or may cause them to go down a path that's a path they shouldn't go down, then Paul says you shouldn't do that. If you really want to bring a church together, it's not going to happen through knowledge. Knowledge puffs up the church, whereas love builds up the church. And what love looks like is being concerned about the faith of your brother and sister. And if there's something going on in my life, something that I'm doing in my life that I need to quit so that my brother and sister can grow in their faith, Paul says, and that's what we need to do. So here's what I want you to do this week. I want you to take a little inventory of your life right now. What are some behaviors and some practices that you're doing that you might think are technically okay to do based on the knowledge you have? But you know that there's a brother or sister who if they saw you doing that, or heard you talk about that, or saw your photo on social media of you doing it, it would negatively influence them and maybe cause them to start doing a habit or something that is not good for them. And so I want you just to kind of think through your practices and to realize that there are people watching you. And so it might be that there are some things that you need to stop doing some things that you need to add based on what would be helpful to the faith of your brother or sister. May God bless you this week.